Alright guys, it is super early in the morning. I have zero makeup on and I just wanted to show you um, a really quick routine for moms to do, for women to do in general, who, you know, I have rosacea, I have acne, I do not have really good skin and I just know how to cover it up and so I just wanted to show people who maybe are not familiar with makeup and who look at celebrities and they are really intimidated by that process. I watch celebrity videos and I can't even figure it out. Like I just watched like a Kylie Jenner uh, makeup video and I was like fascinated by it. I was watching her and I was like I just don't know what she's doing. So I just want to show you what I do, okay? I am a normal person. I'm a mom of three. I have really bad skin. I mean you can see I have like pimples everywhere. I have, my skin is my worst organ. I don't know. <laughs> it's my worst organ. I don't know how else to say it, okay? So I'm just going to show you. I'm going to break it down. I've had rosacea my whole entire life. I've had acne my whole entire life and I can't get around it because I like fried foods and I don't want to be judged about it. I'm going to continue to eat my french fries people. Okay, so my favorite cover up is pretty much um, It Cosmetics by Bye Lines Foundation. So you need a good foundation brush. So my brush I like and I've had this forever is Bobbi Brown Full Coverage Face. So I take the brush and I literally click on a couple of squirts of my foundation and this is fair I should go a little bit darker but I just don't now I'm doing this I'm literally doing this on the mirror of um, my camera so this might be this might get like really ridiculously messy but you want to go everywhere where um, your whole entire face obviously and I go all throughout I even go up into my hairline right so I'm going up into my hairline you can go over your eye go under your eye and you want to get all through, lift your um, ear. If you're wearing your hair in a ponytail, you actually also have to get your ear. Now, I'm wearing my hair down today, but I'm just going to teach you that because it's important. You don't want to have any lines. So people just stop doing their, their foundation here, and you're going to see a difference between your ear and your, and your face. So you can't do that. You have to go throughout the whole entire thing. So you have to do your full face, and your ear guys and now as you can see because I have rosacea I'm still showing I can't really see guys I have to come a little closer um, because I have rosacea I, I still show a little red here and I'm really um, very self-conscious about this so I'm somebody that doesn't use any blush because I don't want any red on my face I don't like any red on my face so whenever I go get my makeup done, I'm just like, oh, you want a little blush? And I'm like, no, back up. I don't want any blush. I don't want any red. You can bronze me all you want, but I don't want any red on my face. I'm very, very, very self-conscious about that. I don't even tan my face because I just don't like any red on my face. Um, okay, so I went in and I gave it one more go. Now let's say I really have a really big flare-up, right? If I have a really big flare-up, which is often, I have Bobbi Brown Warm Sand. This is way too light. This is like my winter color and we're in summer. I have a stick. So if I have a really big flare up, I'm just going to show you. I come right in right here. If I have a really bad flare up or if I have a big pimple or something and then I just blot it in and I get the red much more than I need to. So if you have discoloration around your, your nose and your cheeks over here if you're really red rather than you know you if I understand if you if you have what I have this is really great get get your color this is not my color I should really be more like a 3.5 this is a 2.5 but you could actually come in and just I, you could like draw on your skin when I when I went and sat with the girl the girl's like you could put it on the brush you could I was like this yeah okay I'm putting it right on my skin lady like you don't understand what I'm dealing with so you can put it right on your skin and you can actually cover. This really is a great coverage um, tool for rosacea. It's really thick and it does what it's supposed to do. Okay, so we're blending, blending, blending. And then the last thing that we're going to do to clean our brush is you're going to blend down and you're going to clean your brush and you're going to blend and get your neck. And it's a great way to clean your brush, all the excess stuff that's on your brush, and it's a great way to blend your neck to make sure that your, your top and your bottom sort of looks like the same color. Okay, so that's done. Now you need a new brush. 
a cosmetics. I don't know, um, it's called Heavenly Luxe number eight. So now we're gonna get our powder brush. I have a few of these and actually some of them are in my um, purse. So I have uh, Bobbi Brown, I just have beige three. And now we're gonna make ourselves not be so shiny and I'm gonna try to darken up this color because this color is a little light on me. So we're gonna just basically go all over our whole entire face. So I'm just gonna basically brush my whole face with this to sort of map myself out. I know people are all like, oh, the dewy look is in. The dewy look makes you young. I don't wanna be dewy. I look, that looks like it's sweat. I don't wanna look like I'm sweating. I'm gonna be sweating in 45 seconds anyway. When I leave the house, I wanna look like I'm, I have makeup on and I look like I didn't run a marathon. We're going fast. And again, the neck. Everything you do at the top, you gotta do at the bottom. Ears, don't forget the ears. I know it's weird, right? I'm like, do your ears, but you have to. Okay, so now we're gonna do our bronzer. Now, I'm not a professional contour person. I don't know how to do that, okay? So it comes by the cosmetic bronzers. You're supposed to use a different brush when you bronze. I'm a mom, I don't have time for that. I'm not gonna have 965 brushes. So what I do is I take my brush that I, usually when I do my face, I come head on. And when I bronze, I go to the side. So this is me being cheap. So I take the side of my brush and I just bronze the side of my face. And that's how I do my bronzer. And I just do it like this really quickly. And I let it go. And then I take my hands and I blend it, okay? And that's it. Let me go like this. Let me take it off. And I'm going to take my hair down. And our skin is done, okay? So I got my bronzer on. And technically, you know, people are like, go over here, go over here. I don't understand that. I don't understand what they're talking about. So I'm not going to do it. Okay, so we got our skin done. Now, there's a setting spray. This is called Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray. And literally, like, I like, I go like this, and I spray it one time, and it's supposed to like do some sort of magical thing that it's supposed to set my face. So I just sprayed it once, it landed on my face, and I pray to Jesus that it does what it's supposed to say it does. I don't know if it does, but we're gonna say it maybe it does, and then we move on. So I sprayed my face, and now I'm hoping that it stays. Now on to my makeup, my eye makeup. I could do this all in like five minutes. I'm talking to you, so that's why it's taking longer. This is ELF. This is ELF. One of my favorite um, eye makeup things is ELF. I could do my whole entire thing with ELF. So I'm gonna take the first, two, I blend. So I take my first two, and I'm doing this backwards, guys. So if this comes all messed up, you have to forgive me. Oh, actually, let me use this mirror right here. Okay, I'm doing this so fast, so you have to understand how fast I'm doing this because I'm trying to do this for a video. But basically, you want to do a white, light base on your whole entire eye. Okay. Then I sort of take a middle one. So I take like a middle one, and then I go in and I do the whole bottom. That's easy, right? I just did that so quick. One, two, three. And then I'm gonna take the middle again and I'm gonna like one, two, dab the top one and I'm gonna come in and do the whole top inside of my middle here. I'm gonna have to do that again because I didn't take enough because I'm scared of you guys. And basically I'm gonna come in and blend the center. And I'm gonna use my finger. I'm gonna do it again, do the other side. Come in again. I'm just taking very little, just to give myself a little bit of depth in the eye, and then I pull away any excess on the sides. So that was my eyes. I have to clean my brush. I don't have any paper here. I don't put this back in. I take it, I take like a tissue and I sort of wipe it down before I put it back in my bag. So I'm gonna put that to the side. Now I have my eyeliner. So basically, I, I can't do this looking at you. So I'm gonna come over here and basically, I'm just gonna do a little line on each eye. And if I want, I can go under too, so I'll just do it.
Okay, and that was green. I just did a little green thing. This is Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On pencil. And while that's sort of marinating, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. So I just add a little. A little bit to my center over here because I plucked too much in high school and it's taking forever to grow back so I just added a little to my eyebrows I did my eyeliner guys now I'm gonna do my mascara and the thing about mascara when I put it on I have to again look into my little mirror here is I like to blink on my mascara and the reason why I do that first of all when you put on mascara you want to twist the wand around because you want to hit the outer ring of the mascara to get everything onto your wand. I like to blink my mascara on because it means that I'm getting to the bottom of my base and I like to get about 9,000 coats. <laughs> and that's not an under, that's not, I'm not even exaggerating. So a lot of times people say, do you have false eyelashes on? And I don't. I just spend 45 minutes putting on mascara. I'm literally gonna do this. I'll do this two or three times. And you could actually twist the wand as you're putting on mascara, see what I'm doing? Because that way you can get every side of the wand um, putting new product onto your eyes. Now here's the thing. I don't put mascara on the bottom of my lashes because I think that's just like way too aggressive for me personally. I end up looking like a, a horror doll. But some people do. That's up to you. Two mascaras that I want to tell you about. It's Giorgio Armani Lip Eyes to Kill. Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill, my absolute favorite mascara. I've literally used it for like seven years of my life nonstop. And then I just was sent Urban Decay Perversion and I ran out of my Giorgio Armani and so I started using this and I love it. I actually love this mascara too. So this is like my second favorite mascara. And I, I have, it's great. I mean, you can see it's totally, it really does wonders for your, um, for your eyes. All right, and for my lipstick, my favorite lipstick, I have to pull this off, 265, okay? I told, I told the Instagram girls the wrong thing. Somebody asked me on Instagram yesterday what my lipstick was, and I said the wrong number. I have to go back and fix that. So my favorite lipstick ever, I've been wearing this forever, is 265 from CoverGirl, and it's called Romance Mauve. I mean, it's the, it's just so, it's so simple. It's nothing to it. It's just like an everyday nothing to it color. So this is like, this is just a color that I would wear, you know, like if I was just going to nowhere, like to the supermarket. If I was going someplace, like to an event or something that I needed to darken it up, I have colors that I mix and match, but this is pretty much my base. So CoverGirl Lip, Preven Lip Prevention Jumbo Gloss Balm number 255 is what I would add to this if I wanted to give it a little bit more color. So you see how that sort of pumped it up a little bit? So I have colors in here to add to this. This is always my base. So I have this color if I want to darken it, and then I have this color if I want to lighten it. So this is CoverGirl 245. So I have 255 if I want to darken it in the jumbo stick, and then I have 245 if I want to lighten it. These are both CoverGirl. I'm pretty much a CoverGirl girl. Oh, and then if I really want to darken it, I have CoverGirl um, Q435. This is from like the Queen Latifah line from like many moons ago. Like I only have a little bit of it left. But this is if I want to go really darker, um, let me see, I'll just show you. And this just gives me a little, a little bit more, like, you know, a little bit more to it. I don't, I don't like, I, if, I were, if I were to wear like a deep red lipstick, it would be for me to go to a function. I would, I would have a dress on. Like I wouldn't be wearing one of these shirts with like a deep red lipstick, that's just not what I do. Um, okay, so that's it. Okay, one more thing I wanna note. 
Again, back to the rosacea. If I have a horrible, horrible breakout, this is another great option for people that have really big um, breakouts, acne breakouts, or rosacea breakouts. This is long wear, even finish, compact from Bobbi Brown, long wear, even finish. And it is, um, it's really thick. It's really thick concealer. And you, you can use it with my brush, the brush that I showed you guys earlier. And I it's it's super thick. I mean, it's it's really thick. It's um, it's not mousse. It's thicker than mousse foundation. It's a creamy foundation. And literally, I would go in and I would apply and I would blot it on. I would blot it on. I wouldn't blend it on. I would blot it on until it sort of smooths out, and then I can't see the the color. So that's another option for people who have acne. I have a lot of stuff in here for people who have acne, and I will tell you that Bobbi Brown is a really um, it's a great line. It's very thick and it's really great for concealing. So that's just something. Thing I want to put out there for people who struggle like me. Uh, so that's it. You can see I pretty much covered everything up. I mean, right here I have something, so maybe I could do this for you, even though I put the powder on. I can show you because, again, I'm doing this from the side. I mean, from that camera. I can't really see everything. But you can see if I just blot it, that's exactly how I would cover a pimple. I would just blot it right on. And of course, now that I blotted this on, I would have to go back and um, powder and bronze one more time. I don't, I don't wanna waste your time doing that. But I do wanna show you how simple it is to, co to cover um, by just blotting using that foundation. It's a really good product. And so I'll try to link these products for people who um, are in need of ideas for people who struggle like me. Uh, I hope this helped you guys in some way. I'm always trying to think of what you guys need. I mean, every day I sit down and I do a video and I'm going, well, how can I help them? Like, what do I know that I don't think is a big deal, but maybe it is. So I don't know. That's how I sort of think when I make these videos. I hope in some way I'm helping you guys. And if you enjoy them, I would appreciate it. If you subscribe and like these videos, comment if you will. And um, I'll see you guys tomorrow.